All-Star Weekend. We have a combined nine All-Star appearances here on this couch. So there's so much that you Thanks got. Thanks for including me. <laughs> hey, you, you're the one who came to the West. I got five. You got three. Three, two? Okay. But one. came to the West. We'll talk about it. <laughs> That's your fault oh, coming to the West. You, one. you, one. Said, you should have took that slave deal. <laughs> you got one. Duh. Okay. Duh. Okay. Duh. Okay. But it took way less. In Kane's defense, I think the, Nigga, scored, was... the most points on this couch in All-Star game. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, you already know. I'm, I'm for sure. I'm not even close. We had 17? Yeah, 17 to 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17 to 7? I never had a good All-Star. Well, now, they were playing defense back in your, your days, right? That was Well, it was this. 2004 All-Star. And okay, was, yeah. I was yeah, too yeah. excited. Yeah, I was cool. too. Yeah, I was way too. My excited leads to jumping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Throw it! So, we just want to take y'all back down memory lane. Uh, how'd you feel when you first found out that you made your first All-Star game? <clears throat> and what was it like walking in that locker room, seeing your All-Star jersey hanging up there amongst all the other great players in the league? Well, the first All-Star game, I mean, it was expected. Shit, I was, averaging, I was averaging 26 a game. I was, you know, third leading scorer in the league. You know, started off the season my second year with 30, uh, six or seven straight 30-point games. Yeah. That was the year I was first team All-Pro. So that was like... I mean, I should have, I thought I should have made it the year before. As a rookie, I averaged like 20 and 10, basically, 19.7 or something, and 10, re, 10 plus rebounds. So I thought I had a legitimate chance to make that. They took Brian Winters, my teammate, and he even told me, like, yeah, you know, you'll, you'll make plenty more of these. They probably should have took you this year. And so that next year, you know, it was, was like expected. Now, that first year, we played, we played in the uh, Detroit Silverdome, Pontiac Silverdome. All right, so that's my first All-Star game. I'm at the hotel. The bus is going to leave to go over there real early, too early, five hours before the game. And I just, I don't want to get there that early. So I, I, I said, like, yeah, I missed the bus. Okay, I'll, find, I'll, get, I'll find a ride. So I'm outside maybe two and a half hours before the game, and it's about a 40-minute ride, and there's no, no transportation. I'm just out there like, oh, shoot. So this player comes up who's on the All-Star team, a good buddy of mine back in those days. And he's got a, like a, a big Cadillac, somebody's driving, got five dudes in there from Detroit. And so he's like, yo, Mark, you need a ride? I was like, yeah, yeah, can I? Yeah. So I jump in there, it's so six of us, three in the front, three in the back. We're riding out the Pontiac Silverdome, they start blazing up some weed. They just start smoking <laughs> some weed. They're passing my way, it's like, no, no, I gotta play. My boy's like, yo, no, this make you play better, man. Here, here, here. <laughs> like, oh. And so the, the, the contact, all that, so we get to the game and just, you know, I can imagine what I must have smelled like, you know, in that car ride for 45 minutes. We get to the Silver Dome, I get dressed. We're waiting in the tunnel to go out for the uh, warm-ups. And there's a guy with the uh, London Fog overcoat on, white guy, uh, long hair. And so um, he's just kind of waiting there. So as we get ready to run out, he takes off the overcoat and he's got on a Kansas City Kings warm-up. Barry Bremen, he's a great imposter. Mm -hmm. He runs out there with us. And so I kind of look at him and he's like, yeah, the uh, name on his uh, shooting shirt is Johnson from Kansas. I think it's Ali Johnson from Kansas City. So just pretend I'm your cousin. Let's just, I, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. Just to pretend I'm your cousin. We got, we got a, a little video clip of that, uh, <laughs> okay. that whole situation. <laughs> so this is from halftime. This is you walking out right here and then coming up. Uh, that's him right there, white dude. <laughs> Barry Bremen, yeah. Yeah, and he actually, that's halftime? Yeah. Or, or, okay, because he actually warmed up with us, yeah. too. He came out there for warm-ups. So he must have he must have paid one of the ushers. Or so, he, he had to pay somebody to get that kind of access. Mm -hmm. But you can imagine, I'm a little buzz from the, from the second-hand smoke. Just the second-hand uh -huh, smoke. Second -hand smoke. And, uh, you know, I got this dude coming out here, and, you know, he's like, be cool, man. I'm cool. I think Otis Bird saw him. I'd have snitched on him or something yeah. and got him out of there. But, uh, but, but you know, but so, so yeah, it's, but seeing the jersey out there. But it, for me, again, my second year, I felt like, you know, this is overdue. I should have been all-star last year, if I'm going to be, going to be honest. But it was, it was, you know, it was great to start that game. Um, maybe I started alongside Dr. J or something, so it was all good. Uh, you got voted in the second year? Uh, uh, your first yes. year was voted in. Yeah, yeah, first, yeah first, your second year got voted in. Yeah, oh, all-star starter, babe. Damn. Yep. Gentlemen, what was, what was your first all-star experience like? And what was it like for you to walk into that locker room and see your, your jersey hanging up? Well, yeah. I was geeked. <laughs> Shit, I was out. I, I know there was a video of me like, yo, do I get to keep, like, because <laughs> it had the robe in it. We're talking, do I get to keep this? <laughs> it's like, so I was, I mean, I'm not even going to lie. I, it was probably one of the best moments because, you know, draft wasn't, you know, my draft moment wasn't. So that, that moment of, you know, being an all-star. Like, when I heard that I was an all-star, it was like, all right, cool. You know, you're in the middle of the season. You hear, like, all right, cool, yeah, yeah. But when you get there and then you see everybody, like, 
every like all everyone in one area is like, oh shit. Yeah. Damn, like, and I, I mean, I've bust y'all asses individually, right, but this right. is this is a whole <laughs> different thing right here. Uh, you know, so I was more, I was more like a little kid. Was that your you twenty nine point a game year? Was that your what year? Was no, that was 20, my twenty five point five. Okay, right. So like, uh, I got that because of Larry got hurt, broke his thumb. You know, so I was basically third on the team in in the sense of right. you know production. And when he got hurt, I took over. And took my production and his production up. So by the time he got back, I was the one. Who's one? Antoine. Antoine James. <laughs> Antoine was probably the number one option. Him or Larry was number one option. Okay. I was third. Okay. And then when he went out, I jumped yeah, in front of go. Antoine. I was averaging twenty five. So. Kane, what was your, your first experience like getting first the play? First and only. Hey, you were all star. Nah. Yeah. I'm be nah, real. like your dad said, like I should have made it. I felt I should have made it the year before. Like we had the best record in the East. Um, mm. Yeah, they, yeah. So, but yeah, nah. It was it was dope, man. I was excited. Um, we was playing here. Um, yeah, who don't want to play an All Star game in L. A. Yeah. Are you? Oh, you the L. A. One. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, four. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it was, yeah. It was dope. Nah, it, it, it was great, man. Um, had my point guard there, so it made my job easy. You know, me able to score 17 in an All Star game. Right? That's why you scored 17. Their kid was yeah. like, Oh, yeah, I got my point guard. He <laughs> was there. actually passing. Yeah. He was looking for you. I got my point yeah. guard there, so it's. Yeah. Because I asked him how to approach it, and he just said, Be you. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't know that he was multi time All Star. I'm yeah. like, Man, what I need to do, man, I don't. For the time, he said, Shit, just be you. Yeah. Well, it's good to have a point guard on your side. I, a quick story. I mean, I, uh, my mm -hmm. last All Star game, fifth and final with 86 in Dallas. That was a Spud, Reunion Spud, Arena. Spud Webb dunk game, dunk contest game. But I'm, I'm playing. Let's talk about your point guard. So I'm on the floor. Magic's got the ball in the middle. We're in transition. Worthy's on one side on the wing. I'm on the other side on the wing. I'm getting my steps together. One, one defender back. We're coming down. We cross half court. Get to right on the top of the key. Magic looks my way. And that's when I knew I wasn't getting <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 look, no, look, no, look, you. Don't look that way. He hit Worthy. Worthy came in and dunk. But I, mean, I, I knew right then. I was like, oh, man, don't yeah. look at me like, don't look at me. Look the other way. But that's the point guard taking yeah. care of his, taking yeah. care of his team, yeah. man. I can't be mad guy. at it. Yeah. No, yeah I, okay. If we were the one, like, I don't know everybody's stats in that game. Yeah. Like, if we would have won that, that game, I probably had a shot. Yeah, you know, MVP. At MVP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because wasn't nobody scoring like yeah, that then. But, like, back then, it wasn't like everybody, how they how that three ball is now, and people scoring right. where they are in the All-Star game now. It, but does that do anything <laughs> to you guys, dilute the, 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 the significance of the records, the way the lack of defense being played and all the points these guys are scoring, or you don't really give, give, a, give a crap? Um, it bothers me. I gotta be. I gotta. With just a regular, regular basketball in, or in an All Star game, saying just this, this season. No, no, I'm um, talking about All Star game. Okay, All Star okay, okay, game, okay. and you got guys scoring like you know, you got most points in All Star game history. You know, recently these are guys. Like you. Said, you would, you would, you would know better because you know. I think you guys back then took it serious. Too serious, man. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, you, you guys took it serious yeah. to the point where it was actually a basketball game. Yeah. Right. Right. Now. Like, even when I played, I remember when I jumped off the trampoline in Vegas, um, they didn't know had a heart attack. The thought of it. Like, yeah. yo, you, you know we got the rest of the season getting ready for the playoffs. So, you know, when we went into the, you know, when I went into All-Star, it was more, yo, rest. Right. Because we got the second half of the season to try to make yeah. a push. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, me going into the, you know, to All-Star weekend anyway, it was team. Right. right. So these guys are sitting here like, yo, I still got the team. This ain't even really important right. enough. Right. And then I guess that wasn't the thought back then. I think the thought back then is. A yeah. And it wasn't it wasn't the extravaganza. So you come you know, I, I'd come in like on a Saturday morning or something instead of Friday. We had the banquet, uh, the dinner like Friday, uh, Saturday night. Bob Hope. I remember Bob Hope had a line. Uh, at our all-star banquet, around 82 in Cleveland, wherever it was in Cleveland. But he had the line, uh, uh, I, you know, I, I don't want to say there's a lot of drug use in the NBA, but there's a rumor that the Golden State Warriors landed at the Oakland Airport an hour before their team did. <laughs> uh, before, uh, hour before the team plane did. Uh -huh. so, you know, <laughs> High as a kite. <laughs> you know, 
you know, it, so we listen, Jonathan Winters. I mean, he was he yeah. he was old, he was he was old sub, but he was just motor. You know, I, I was sitting next to him on the dais, and he was talking a mile a minute. But so, so so we had that, and then the game. So it wasn't you know, it just wasn't a big deal. You know, it wasn't like oh, I got to get there and oh, participate in all the festivities. It was no, just, they making you do it now. Like yeah. you got to do all this stuff. I mean, on Friday, yeah, obligations, a yeah. lot of obligations. So. Yeah. So Dad, Marcus, I'm professional saying I call you Marcus. Uh, yeah. When, Mr. I need, Johnson? When, when I need some Mr. bread, Johnson. I call you dad. Uh, <laughs> so you said All Star Weekend wasn't as turned up or you know as much stuff going on as it is now. But for you guys, in those two thousands, uh, what was your favorite part of All Star Weekend? What was the worst part? Um, okay, so my the 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 most excited I was for All Star was I think it was two thousand two. Was that Philly? It was either Philly. Yeah. G- 50 Cent just came out, G-Unit. Yeah, I love how we can take music movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Philly. Yeah, so, you know, so basically everybody down in the lobby and, you know, uh, 50 Cent, right, that whole G-Unit movie. So everybody got the tank tops and the G-Unit on. Like, everybody got first. Right? Just just watching money, yeah. right, because, you know, I was broke. So just going down there, just watching shit you could never, ever be a part of. <laughs> like, yeah, all the little nice ladies in here. Yeah, I'm like the ball kid at this point, right? Just like, yeah. Man, is- was that 02 or 03? 02. 02 was Philly. Second year. Not 02. It was Philly, right? It was my right? second year. It was, it, was, yeah, it, was, it was my second year because I played in the rookie so, sophomore game. So, 02 was Philly, right? Yeah, I played in the okay. rookie sophomore game. So, you played against Jay Rich? Yeah, Jay Rich a freshman, game. right? Yeah, so you were sophomore, was Jay Rich from yeah. 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 So, you know, it's wild. We were playing, I was at UCLA at that point. We played Villanova and yeah. somehow ended up having to stay oh. in the fucking All Star Weekend Hotel in oh, Liberty. So you were there too? Most, yeah. most pimps, fur coats. Yeah, that's It was like oh, the most fur coats I've ever <laughs> seen yeah, Philly. in one well, lobby. Yeah, we were there at Villanova out there. Some reason they put us in the fucking All Star Hotel. Well, y'all didn't come to DC then. <laughs> nah. Now, see, was the year before. Uh, 2001. That one, that was when I like, I realized that people used to talk about all the girls in the lobby and all that. Yeah. A bus pulled up outside the hotel. Mm. All girls? All girls got off. Yeah. Outside the fucking team hotel, bro. <laughs> I'm walk- getting excited DC. like I was going to get one. <laughs> in D.C. I was like... <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm acting no, like I heard the story one. before I got in the league. Like, man, there be girls in the oh, lobby all the oh, time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm at All Star Week before All Star Weekend. I ain't coming to every hotel. Yeah, she where they at? Yeah, yeah, where they at? Yeah, we going down to the bar, hanging out at the bar till they close. Like, yep. man, ain't no women walking this lobby yet. Uh, yeah, I ain't seeing them but business people yeah, in there. Yeah. Stand the four seasons, like. <laughs> yep. Got to that DC, that All Star. I'm like, yo, a bus pulled up outside the hotel. I was like. What, what is that, the work dynamic like? All-Star at, Weekend? At the All-Star Oh, it's weekend. unbelievable. It's like the black Super Bowl, as oh, it's, people it's, call it. Super Bowl ain't got nothing on it. Yeah, <laughs> boy, what? This is like, the All-Star Weekend is like Instagram. What? Right? And you had the blue check before they made you pay for the Absolutely. blue check. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, you sitting there pick. Listen. What? Picking them, come on. They're trying it. to be a part of Let this. Let them know. They're trying to be a part of everything, so. <laughs> so, hey. Heavy demand, but also heavy supply of stars. So what's, what's nah, the hierarchy? Nah, Is it some no. dudes that aren't? In the, I'm just I'm curious. Put it like this: the friend of the NBA player, it damn near has first dibs. <laughs> like you, you damn near have first <laughs> dibs at the All Star game. Uh, now you be sitting there mad like, damn, you pulled that? Like yeah, you know, I, I was I told him I played for the Bobcats. Like that's usually the the, the Bobcats and yeah. some of them bottom feeding teams. There ain't nobody watching. You ain't nobody never, watching. On <laughs> never on TV. Never on TV. Never on national television. If you look at the national six, TV slate, hit one of those teams at the bottom. That's not good. If you think I'm lying, chat. Look, if you six, seven, and above, slim, go to All Star Weekend. And just have a jersey or whatever. <laughs> just say little duffel bag, uh, anything. Just look like you. Yeah, just look like you a hooper. Like walk around the lobby with your sunglasses That's on. Right. <laughs> right. 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 Yo, yeah. walk around with your sunglasses you know, on. Just, right. Yeah, you move like look, you, you look play. important. Yeah, you play on the Bob Cash. You play on Orlando Magic. Yeah, you you play on Utah Jazz. Get you up. good money, boy. Yeah. Go get you a little crossbody or <laughs> something. Yeah. Little, 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 little fanny pack. A little, 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 little knockoff Louis bag or something. You know, 
know what I'm saying? It's hard nowadays though with the internet and smartphones because you used to be able to get that off early two thousand. Nobody would know to do that. No, you're right. They got the internet. Now, now, but you might not, no, no, no. But for real, enlarge that motherfucker. Like, where he at in the team picture? Yeah, like, you can you can get away with it a little bit. I'm on a ten day. I'm on a ten day. Just go limited Wi-Fi. You just have to be at places where where Wi-Fi issues. But you guys talk about that. And for me, just from an outsider's perspective, uh, for the most part, all stars are the alpha on their team. For the most part. So what happens when you put up to 24 alphas in the same place at the same time? Like, who are the alphas of the alphas on those teams that you guys played on? Not necessarily alpha, just the person. Whoever has the biggest personality is going to always have the biggest personality. Don't matter, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, when, when I was there, it was more of like Shaquille O'Neal is going to be Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. You know, I remember um, it, we had a little, it was a little tense in the locker room um, that, it was the Vegas year because Amici just came out. So John Amici just came out. So we all got like, hey, you know, don't talk about Amici, you know, mm. the, you know, the LGBT, you know. So everybody's all right, cool, cool, cool. And then as soon as the media came in, Shaq took off his what's the name, got the uh, silver thong jock strap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John Amici, y'all. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, shit. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> I'm John Amici, because I think what happened was John Amici came out and then Tim Hardaway said something that yeah. everybody didn't agree with. Yeah. So it was like, it was real tense. Yes, Tim did. Yes, yes, Tim did. And then, you know, Shaq broke all that tension with John Amici, y'all. <laughs> you know, and then everybody got in the spirit and just, well, it was kind of like, all right, fun loving again. It was a great. Mutual admiration society too. Uh, when when we played um, '86, I remember I think Clyde Drexler was on the Western Conference team, and I mean he was just pumping me up and how much he loved my game and how much he respected this and that. And I'm you know I was a big Drexler fan since Houston, mm -hmm. University of Houston, and uh, I think I might have, like just give me some of that, give me some of that spring you got on your legs. You felt <laughs> I could use you know it was just a real good feeling because everybody was real respectful. I don't know how that was in, 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 as the years progressed, 20 years later in you guys' era, but I don't know if it was, it was more competitive or more hatred or more salt. I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, but back then everybody was just happy to kind of be an all-star and celebrate the greatness that was in the room, mm -hmm. if, if, if you will. I think MJ was on that 86 team. I don't think he played or he might have been hurt that year, but yeah, MJ, yeah, yeah. Patrick Ewing, like what was it like being around those young guys, kind of the, 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 the future well, of the league, the guys who were taking over? Well, my, my, my story with those two is uh, it, it was at, uh, that was Dallas. So, so after the uh, dinner, uh, and, and the comedian or whatever, Willie Nelson was going to be performing. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not in the country in Western. Let me go back to the hotel. So I was outside waiting to catch a cab. Here comes Patrick Ewing. Here comes Michael Jordan. And so we all three are kind of outside waiting to try and get some. We didn't have limos and like that. Just no for transportation. This brother comes up in this old kind of older Lincoln Continental. He's like, yo, Marcus, Patrick, Michael, y'all need a ride back to the hotel? Like, yeah. So like, get on in. So we got on in. I'm sitting in the middle between Michael and Patrick, well, and Michael sitting in the middle between Patrick and me. And so I'll never forget this. And this is the year Michael was hurt, foot was broke, missed a bunch of games, came back, had the 63 against Boston. And so we were all talking again, mutual admiration. Michael Jordan was like, like he said before, yo, 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 I loved your game, Marcus. You know, you know, I, you, I, you know, I had my you poster on my wall when I was in North Carolina. I was, you know, Patrick was saying a bunch of good stuff. So then Patrick said to Michael, he's like, look, look, MJ, when you get back, don't be bringing that stuff inside to my office. And so Michael, I'll never forget this. Michael said, Pat, I got a hide and seek show you ain't even seen yet. <laughs> I got a hide and seek show you ain't even seen yet. And then when he came back, he dropped that 63 on Boston. But it was the coldest. <laughs> Michael had like a fur, fur on, a, on, a long, on a full length leather coat. But the way he said it, you know, was okay, just right. the coldest. I got a look, I got a hide and seek show you ain't even seen yet. And just got to look off. <laughs> hide and seek show. <laughs> I got a hide and seek show. And then he came back with that 63 against Boston. I'm like, there's a hide and seek show. <laughs> there's that hide and seek show he was talking about. Yep. So MJ in the middle. He wouldn't take that middle, I mean, as the years progress. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't yeah, take yeah, that middle yeah. seat away, y'all. Uh, <laughs> nah, nah, y'all nah. gotta find your own ride. Exactly. You got middle seat, MJ, very, very early. <laughs> well, young, yeah, he, I was playing with the Clippers, man, and I sent like a, like a, uh, 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 Detroit, like a like a flare screen on him. We called it Detroit screens back in the day. So he came to the screen real hard with a forearm. And I was like, I grabbed. Him, say, hey rookie, watch the screen. He's like, hey. I was like, hey rookie, watch the elbow. He's like, hey bet, watch the screen. You know, I was like, oh, okay, all right, okay. all right. You know, he, he was he was he was real feisty even back then. This is before I knew, you know, that uh, he was a fan of mine. But uh, he was real feisty even back then, man. So for all y'all, we talk about that on court dynamic. Obviously, Canyon, you were fortunate to have. 
your teammate Jason Kidd out there who actually liked passing the ball. Mm -hmm. But for you guys' experience, what's that dynamic like for you? Are guys giving up the rock? Is there a lot of ball hogging? Like, <laughs> what, you know, how hard is it to actually get the ball? And, and also, what's the easiest way well, to try to get buckets? Well, we're playing the Lakers. I mean, it's not the Lakers. We're playing at the Forum where the Lakers played uh, That's back 83, in the day. Right? 83, right? 83, the Marvin, Marvin Gaye National Anthem mm -hmm. game, which was off the hook. And so I had um, flown a, a young kid, Maltese Williams, from Milwaukee for the All-Star. He, he was in a fire, went in a coma. He was like a big fan of mine, 12 years old or whatever he was. I came into the hospital room, and he kind of came out of the coma. And they were like, Mr. Johnson, it's a miracle. He's, he's been in a coma for like two months. You know, you come in, say some words. So I said, look, you know, young man, you keep getting better. I'm going to take you to the All-Star game in L.A. So I took him out to the All-Star <laughs> game during the All-Star break now, and I want to get MVP. It's like, mm -hmm. I got to get MVP. It's a great story. You know, if I can get MVP, I can get a trophy to Maltese Williams. He's in the wheelchair. It'd be a great story. Came out there, and uh, the very first time on the floor, it's a two-on-one. I got the ball. Sidney Moncrief, my teammate, is a little bit ahead of me. And so get the ball back, you give it up early. Uh, you know? yeah, yeah. And it, we've done this hundreds of times before. I give it to him. He gives it back to me. I throw it down. Jack Sigma's backpedaling on defense, 6'11". And so I'm pushing. Sydney's there. I give it up to Sydney. It's the All-Star game. Sydney gets it and just attacks Jack. He didn't even look at me again. I mean, he, didn't, he wasn't thinking about passing the ball back. He made, made a real nice move and finish. I think Sydney might have had 26 points in that game. I wound up having a real bad game and just feeling like low as, as, as well crap because uh, I wanted to do it and, and make it special for this kid and all that. But looking back on it, I mean, it was special for the kid anyway, you know. But the kid, I remember he was at my house for the little post-game party. <laughs> and I think may, I may have told him, like, I'm going to get the MVP for you. And he was like, so what happened to the MVP? <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, went I think I went upstairs and cried in my, in my, in my parents' bedroom. <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, hey, nothing, nothing. <laughs> yeah, I was so disappointed, man. You're, you're for yourself. What was that? It was a long night that night, too. Right. <laughs> 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 you know? throw that in. Long night that night. Uh, you know? Back in L.A. I already know. We already know what it was. It was a long night. What was that dynamic like for you on the court playing with these stars? I mean, from the first game, second game on, just in terms of actually getting the ball and being able to score. You know, I'm, I'm the PG. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, I remember this is my year I'm starting, right? So this is the Vegas, Vegas year, right? Uh, the, the, my second year, you know, that was that, den that was the... Um, the Detroit Pistons, all four, and then even in the, in the All Star game, me and Joe Johnson sitting there, and we we kind of like, cause they subbed all four of them in, in together, like to make this type of history. So we are like, this some bullshit right here, <laughs> right? So I don't remember that year. Yeah. The 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 oh six oh seven. I'm starting right. So uh, first play of the game, right? Eddie Jordan calling up play like when we get the ball, this we gonna run, right? And uh, he draws a play up for a back door for Dwayne Wade. Like, you know, you're looking at it like, where am I? Hell no, nah, that ain't the play that I like to run the first play. The first play is always for me. Like, you my coach. <laughs> got the ball, uh, we got the tip. I see Dwayne Wade back door, just like Coach drew it. Like, oh, he open. Three. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> nigga, this is just like I, I don't know how you drew it, coach, but this is how he it's supposed open. to be. He ain't open. Through, hey, through, bang three. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne Wade was wide open. This would have been the nicest, sis, but not. Nah, come on, coach. You can't call the play. Dwayne ain't saying anything. For the op. Dwayne ain't saying anything to you. Nah, no, nah, no. I ain't get the ball the rest of the game, but you can't call yeah. it for the op, coach. Right, right. Wait, <laughs> right, did you? You made it. Hell yeah, I man. It was a okay. bank though. I ain't yeah. called nothing. Oh, right. I mean, you good? You good? Yeah. Who went in? Got me a little three. Oh, Got me a little yeah. good. Three in like there. It's supposed to happen. It came over like, again. You in LA? <laughs> you in LA? 2004. Jay Z, Beyonce, courtside, star-studded event. What was that dynamic like for you? And, and how long did it take you to get comfortable playing in that game, or just coming right away, ready to do it? It was easy. Like I said, J Kid was there, man. So I wasn't worried. I wasn't. I'm not. People that's there, I that shit don't. I'm not. I'm not starstruck. He was number one pick, bro. Okay. Stars are coming from the like last fan, no, like no, around. No, no, I still, I'm a fan of people, but I'm <laughs> yeah. not, I'm not right. starstruck. I don't bother people when they out. Um, <laughs> um, but no, it was it was dope, man. Having um, having J K there, and of course, uh, shit, when I was an all star, shit, K J was born, so I had my eldest there. He, you know what I'm saying, was special for me. Him. Um, but yeah, no, nah, me being out there and having J K, it was it was it was like just another game, shit. Mm -hmm. To be honest. 
It was just another game over the weekend. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was the same action. Like, yeah. run, jump, <laughs> run, deep. jump, dunk. Yeah. I think <laughs> yeah. I always put too much pressure on myself. I mean, just you know, I wanted to do so well. And, 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 and the All-Star games then, I mean, it was for the, the great one-on-one -on -one players, Doc, George Gervin, I mean, even Larry to, to a certain extent. I mean, they were the ones that kind of got, you give it up, you weren't go, you know. Yeah. You, it wasn't like, we gonna move it around and you'll get it back and get it in the mid-range you know, mid area where you're coming off a screen. You give it up, you know, you had to get it off the offensive glass pretty much because they were looking to do something. They, they were, everybody was aware of the, of the, of the, uh, the prominence of being the MVP. I, and I wasn't so, I just wasn't caught up except for that one game in LA with the, with the kid uh, who was in the fire, Maltese Williams. But other than that, man, it was almost like a, I won't say a nuisance, but you know, the, those two or three days off, if yeah. I could have you know, done something else, you know, I would have done something else. But I mean, I was honored, don't get me wrong. And, I, and it meant more after I stopped being named All-Star teams, you know, later <laughs> in my career. But, but at that time when I was making them every year for three or four years in a row, it's like, you know, here we go again. Another, <laughs> some more pressure. <laughs> here we go again. I was watching, uh, it was, uh, I think it was, K, it was KG and, um, and Paul Pierce talking about uh, one year, all, uh, there was an all-star game where two, two, two. everybody had their own clique and everybody, like, they switched the seats around so they teammates didn't sit next to each other. So it was like Chris Bosh, Wade, and LeBron. Mm -hmm. Right, it was um, him, Paul Pierce, and I don't know if it was Rondo, but I know uh, Ray Allen. I think it was only, they only. No, it was three. It was, it was three, three of them. Year. Yeah, it was three. And then you had Orlando. They had their two. Like everybody, it was just like clicks. And they <laughs> so they, they sitting there just they not talking to each other. They just all. And I was like, damn, that's rare though. That's rare when you have it's multi team. There's three players, two players from each team, and that's how y'all set. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, we got beef with them. Yeah, I wear this shit. I said next to the course, you know, my life is yeah, yeah. a kid, but yeah, it's... So, what was the wildest thing that you guys saw during All-Star Weekend, on the court, off the court, anything going on? Listen, the best part, listen, the best part of it is when you get to hear, like, players trying to holler at girls, the game that is being spoken, the shit that is being said. <laughs> now, you hear, like, listen, you, you hear some rude, you hear, you hear some of the rudest stuff ever. Like, some stuff I just had to, yeah, I'm going to use that line one day. Just one day. Like, you know, I can't use it the same way you used it, but I'm going to use it. Uh, what, what dude was like, I'm not the prettiest nigga in the world, but I can buy that thing. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, he ain't pretty, but I mean that's a that's that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good line. I'm gonna use that. And but that's like uh, just at the bar, just listening to people talk, you just be like, yo, y'all are wild, bro. Y'all, yeah. this is wild. I've seen that seventies, eighties, seventies, eighties, a lot more turned up uh, than it is now. Uh, what, what was the, the wildest, the craziest thing you saw during the All Star Weekend? I mean, I mean, just I, I go back to that Barry Bremens, oh, yeah. the great imposter in Detroit, was probably the craziest thing, but. You know, we weren't into um, the the really wild partying. I mean, everybody kind of did their own thing with their, you know, went their own way, and um, so I, it just it wasn't a lot of collective craziness going on. And there was some individual <laughs> specific craziness going on, but uh, it was more like that back in the back in the seventies and eighties. And it came from from your experience in L.A. Early 2000s. No, it just ain't the shit that you see. It's the shit that you hear yeah. about yeah. after the fact. Yeah. Like, man, you motherfuckers crazy. crazy. <laughs> like, yeah. What happened? What hotel was this? Yeah. Man, I'm glad I wasn't at that. Like, you just, just like, you like, man, you Here's wait. Some shit, yeah. yeah, like it's them stories. You and that All Star game. <laughs> Your Vegas? Listen. Vegas, boy, yeah. Man. Yeah. You're out there. Yes. I wasn't playing that season. Mm -hmm. So I had them. I had nothing to get back to. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I was getting my knee scope. So I had micro fracture surgery in November. I was healing and I had to go get my left knee cleaned out of scope right after All-Star break. So I, I'm in Vegas from Thursday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. I show up to get surgery. They like, uh, your blood pressure is abnormally high. <laughs> uh -huh. um, what's going on? Uh -huh. 
I was like, well, I'm, I ain't changed nothing, but died. I ain't da da da. I said, well, I did just come from Vegas. <laughs> they was like, yeah, there you go. There you <laughs> go. Yeah, they was like, yeah, we're gonna have to give you a couple bags of IV before we can, so we can start this procedure. So, I'm like, so then yeah, I know I want you to conk out in this bitch. <laughs>